They made a lot of toys based on movies and television show. And there's some of them you probably didn't even know they made. Let's talk about them. Now let's talk about this. Action figures. Well, not just, these aren't just action figures. Well, I'll just say toys from a movies and television show that you didn't even know they made. You're like, hey, I love that movie, or hey, I love that television show. What? They made toys of that? And no one got them for me when I was a kid? My parents hated me. So let's just talk with one. I'm not even sure how many of you guys remember this. I think it might have been a Sid and Marty Gras show in the late 70s that had Dr. Smith from Lost in Space in it. It was a live action series called Space Academy. That's right, Space Academy. Does anyone remember this? They actually made figures, doll-sized figures, of Space Academy. We finally got a Dr. Smith. Okay, the character, the actor that played Dr. Smith, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan Harris. Was that his name? Top of my head. Let's take a look at him. Again, I'm not sure how many of you out there even remember Space Academy. It wasn't a huge hit. It lasted maybe a year, maybe two. And here they are. To be honest with you, they look like crap. Don't look like anything I would have saw at the store and begged my mom for, that's for sure. But here's Dr. Smith, a.k.a. Isaac Game. Is that what it says? I can't see that. Uh, from Space Academy. And there he is up close. That's some very good likeness when you think these were made around 1978. That's some darn good likeness right there for a figure. Shocked. Okay, this one, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know. I've seen pictures of this guy. It's based on a cartoon. I think it's a Japanese cartoon. Uh, but I really don't know what it is. It kind of looks like Star Blazers. So it's probably made by the same people. But everything around that period looks alike. So I'm just going to put this one out there. And his name is Captain Harlock. I know if, you, if you're into uh, anime, you probably know this guy. Like I said, I've seen his picture all over the place growing up. But, uh. Did you know they made Captain Harlock figures? Here's the Captain Harlock himself. Look at this. Doesn't it look like Star Blazers? That ship looks just like something out of Star Blazers. But there he is, Captain Harlock. As you can see here, they did a three-pack also that comes with another Captain Harlock, uh, a little cartoon-looking guy, and I guess his little BFF. <laughs> You're running to eBay now to get you some Captain Harlock action figures. I know you are. Well, maybe Captain Harlock wasn't your thing. Maybe you liked westerns. Remember the movie, How the West Was Won? No, he thought I was going to talk about how the West was fun. Oh, never going to talk about that. How the West Was Won. Now, I think this was based on a television series, based on the movie, and I didn't even know there was a television show based on the movie, so... I pulled this up, I was like, what? They made toys based on how the West was won? And then I saw, wait a minute, it's from a television show. Let's take a look. And you have Zeb right here. Don't know who Zeb is. Like I said, I didn't know there was a television show, and I don't really remember much about the movie. And here we have an Indian. Wait man, I'm not sure I'm supposed to say that word. Here is a Native American. He doesn't even have a shirt. He should have been a few dollars cheaper. But look, they were only $2.96, so I guess you can't complain. Now, the next one's not action figures. They're toy cars. And I didn't know they made these. If I knew back then when they, they, they if I knew back then they made these, I would have got the whole set. I would have done what they told me to do, collect them all. <sighs> when you think funny, you think Dom DeLuise. And when you think real funny, you think Burt Reynolds. And when you think Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise together, you have to think about Cannonball Run. Yeah, they did cars from the Cannonball Run. Look, here's one that has Mel Tillis. Mel Tillis is on this one. And here's a football player. I think that's Terry Bradshaw with the number one Hawaiian topic. If that's not cool, I don't know what is. Hey, that's not Magnum. That's Sammy Davis Jr. with a cowboy hat. Probably the coolest of them all. I might actually have to look for this one. Is the ambulance from the movie. And yes, that's Dom DeLuise as a superhero. Sorry, Marvel. You can't have that one. And here's a car that says Cannonball Run on it. And look who's on the package. You guessed it. That's Jamie Farr from TV's Match. Whew. I've got to head to eBay. I've got to get those cars. That is awesome. Whew. Check these out here. You want to see really awesome? What did kids love in the 70s? Disaster movies. They had the Tiring Inferno, and then you had the Presiding Adventure about a boat sinking. 
And how fun would that be to play with? That's right, Besotting Adventures toys. He had a few different ones, like this one right here of the hero from the film. I think that might be Gene Hackman. And we can't forget Linda. Who? Where's your pants at, Linda? And it's not an action figure line if there's no Shirley Winters action figure. Can you believe it? A Shirley Winters action figure. The best part of these toys is that McDonald's did a special kids meal that came with a Shirley Winters action figure. Man, what a toy line I would love to have. One of the greatest comedies of the 80s that no one talks about is about Bigfoot. Harry and the Henderson. Yes, they made a television show about it that no one talks about, and that's okay. But did you know they made toys from Harry and the Henderson? Sorry, we didn't get a John Lithgow action figure. Is it Lithgow or Lithgow? Anyway, sadly we didn't. It would have been great. Hey, Super 7, can we get some Third Rock from the Sun action figures? That would be awesome. Anyway, let's look at Harry and the Henderson. There's actually two different toys from two different companies. From Just Toys, we have the Harry and Henderson Bendhams, and you thought the Star Wars ones were cool. Check this one out. And from Galoob, we have a talking doll of Harry from Harry and Henderson's. Yeah, it really talks. Take this doll anywhere you go because your big friend has a really big heart. How did I grow up loving Harry and the Hendersons and not having either one of those two? <sighs> what a bad childhood I must have had. Now this one here is not a TV or a movie. Hey Jumpman, why is it on the list? Well, it's based on an actor, John Wayne. It was released around 1982, and I thought we'd just pull it up to let you know they made John Wayne figures, not based on any movies, just based on the actor himself. There seems to be two different ones of the Duke. We have this one with his Civil War outfit, which I guess is based on one of his movies. I can't remember what movie this might have been from, because all the John Wayne movies kind of look alike. I mean, if it's not Rooster Carbon, or if it's not Rio Bravo, it's really hard for me to remember. And we got this one here, classic look of the Duke. He looked like this in almost every movie he was in. Let's go ahead and get these out of the way. Cole the Cronkerer. I don't know who remembers this movie, being that these toys were so stupid looking. I just wanted to say it. Here's one from Toy Biz right here. And here's another one. Curl. I hope I said that right. It's one of those words I've said so many times while making this video. It now sounds like I'm saying it wrong. Curl. The Conqueror. I guess that's right. Anyone remember this movie? I hope not. Now let's go back even before my time. I've heard of this. I know they made a movie based on it, but The Man from Uncle? That's way before my time. I think this was from the 1960s. And these toys aren't some gimmick released in the 2000s. This is actually from around 1968. Yep, they made action figures for The Man of Uncle. And here's The Man from Uncle TV action figure made by Gilbert. I wonder if it was made by Gilbert Godfrey. That would be awesome. And here he is out of the box. And this has to be one of the most boring looking action figures I've ever seen in my whole life. If I had to play with this, I would have probably jumped off a bridge. Let's look at one more. It's based on a Dudley Moore movie. Dudley Moore? Do I need to say more? You're like, junk man, I could have had a Dudley Moore action figure? Kind of. Let's look at Santa Claus the movie. And here it is from LJN. Santa Claus the movie. I'm not talking about that Santa Claus movie with Tim Allen. I'm talking about the classic with Dudley Moore. And I think John Lithgow's in this one too. Is it John Lithgow or Lithgow? Anyway, here's the figures. As you can see, you got Santa Claus right there in the middle. And yep, that's Dudley Moore sitting on a rocking horse. See, you could have owned a Dudley Moore action figure. Let's look at the back of the box here and you can see the actor Dudley Moore. Man, why didn't we get Arthur action figures in the 80s? Why? Why didn't we? Okay, that's a look at 10 toys, kind of action figures. Most of them were action figures. Maybe they all wasn't from movies or television shows that we didn't know they made. Or I didn't. I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments, hey, I knew that one, I had that one. But hopefully there's some on the list that you didn't know they made. And now you can go tell your friends and brag. You don't have to tell them I told you. Just tell them, did you know they made Dudley Moore action figures from the Santa Claus movie? Just brag and they'll think you're the coolest, smartest toy insider ever. They'll say, that guy knows all about toys. Too bad he's like 45 years old. Cannonball, cannonball, cannonball run. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs>